So one pro tip relating to table layouts is using the tabular layout to create new source data. And I'll let you know what I mean by that. Um, so let's say in this case we've got our IMDB movie database. It's a ton of rows of data. It's at the title level um, with all these different categorical fields and metrics. And let's say using the pivot, we just want to aggregate that data up um, to a slightly less granular level. So instead of by title, maybe I just want table of data that shows revenues by country, by genre. And that's the deepest I want it to go. In that case, I can exclude anything from the pivot that I'm not interested in. In this case, let's pull color and black and white back into filters. And now I've got the data that I really care about. Revenue by genre, by country. The problem is, if I copy this and paste it somewhere else, it's not in a very useful format. So I can't just take this and load it into a SQL table or an access database. Um, and even if I move it to a new worksheet in Excel, I've still got these, these blank rows, these totals, these repeating values. So this view is helpful from a data exploration and analysis standpoint, but not necessarily helpful in terms of serving as new source data. So what I can do here is change from the outline mode, which we're currently in, to tabular, and make a couple adjustments to turn this into a nice clean table that we can use elsewhere. So the first thing I'm going to do is repeat all the item labels, and then I'm going to turn off the grand totals and turn off the subtotals. And there you go. This gives me a nice clean tabular format with one line item that shows the country, the genre, and the revenue. This means that there's no overlap, there's no duplicated values, there's no extra blank rows. Now all I need to do is grab this table and move it elsewhere and save that as whatever I need to. A CSV, I can load it into a database tool, uh, whatever it might be. But this essentially has allowed me to aggregate my data at a completely different level of granularity and produce a new raw tabular data set that I can use somewhere else.